All right, next TV. We are working with a Vizio. Let's see. Right here. E40-DO. It's going to be a 40-inch TV. Usually they'll mark the, uh, the size of the TV somewhere in the model number. It'll have some sort of indication of what size it is. So, same as always, we want to start by pulling all the screws from the rear of the TV. And these right here, these four screws in the rear, these are where you're going to attach any sort of a wall mount for a TV rather than using the legs on the bottom. This one's a lot like the last one as far as the uh, screw layout. On this one, they're relying on the plastic snapping together along the top. They don't have any screws along there. So. See if these magnets are strong enough to pull the screws out. Looks like it is. All right, looks like we've got all of them. So, as usual, tilting it up and we're gonna pry along this top side if that doesn't work we'll have to go to the bottom side looks like that's gonna be the case so lift up and it pulls away and fortunately there was a uh, an outlet where the uh, the buttons for the like the power and channel buttons plug into right there fortunately it was facing straight out so it just pulled out of there no problem but you do want to be a little bit more careful with yours than I am with this I have the uh, I have the fortune of being able to not worry too much about delicacy, but uh, the power board on this one just has two wires plugged into it. So.
And so these two screws are actually holding this to the TV, so you'll have to pull those out as well if the logic board is what you're trying to pull, or the power supply, excuse me. And as always, if your TV doesn't turn on, check your capacitors. Look at the top and see if it, if it looks like there's any, uh, looks like dry glue on there. There'll be material leaking or it'll be, it'll be bowed out instead of flat or concave. So if that's the case, you know the source of your problem. Your capacitors are just expanded. Now, in order to find out exactly um what capacitor to buy you look along the side if you are trying to replace the capacitor um i don't recommend this unless you've got some sort of soldering experience uh some sort of experience with electronics but um you look on the side and you're going to find the uh the voltage and the resistance on there or not the resistance the uh I believe it's amperage. It, it's measured in microfarads. So your microfarad measurement has to match up. The voltage, you want it to be at least, if not more. So, and you don't want to go crazy with it. Don't go 30 volts if it says 12, that sort of thing. So this logic board looks good. We'll move on to the other two. Oh, excuse me, one in this case. And conveniently enough, this TV looks like it is Wi Fi enabled. So I'll have to look it up, but this may have been a smart TV. got wires like this that are taped on that you uh, need to replace uh, say the antenna was bad you want to make sure you pull this tape back gently and don't break the wires while you're doing it and these are going to be glued on here really well so my recommendation would be to get a uh, some sort of putty knife to remove those uh, for now I'll just leave them but here we go so we're just pulling these uh, antenna cables off here There, you have to squeeze these plastic pieces in to get this off of here. And there's your Wi Fi unit right there, the Wi Fi card. And uh, you have all the information printed right on top. The uh, this will tell you what part to know to order, uh, what to look up on is your keyword search on eBay or on Google. Just pull these screws out, pull off this video board, otherwise main board. Alright, there we go. Here's our uh, information right here. 
so if I was looking this up to replace it the first one I would look up is that one printed on the board but if that doesn't pull anything up you'll check on this sticker right here so all right if you have any uh, questions or comments to leave uh, leave them in the comments section let me know what you think of the video uh, anything that would help me make better videos for you that would that are more informative uh, just let me know in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching